Hi everyone, this is Tony from iForm Builder, and today I'd like to give you a quick look into iForm Builder's integration with Dropbox. I've logged into my Dropbox account, and the first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder to store all of my media in. And I'm going to call this folder iForm, and come up here, and we want to upload some media files to this folder. So I will look for a folder on my local machine. It is called iForm as well and I just need to select all of these files and then upload them to Dropbox. Uh, while this is uploading, let's take a look at the control panel. Under the company drop-down menu, you'll want to click on company info and this is only accessible by company admins. Scroll to the bottom, you will see a new um, field called Dropbox and this is for pro accounts only including trial accounts. I've already linked this account to a Dropbox account but we'll go in here and relink the account. It's going to prompt you for your Dropbox username and password. So support at iformbuilder.com. And the password is unbeknownst to you. We'll click link. Um, when it comes back to the company info page, if you scroll down, you'll see linked here uh, with a green check mark indicating you've done everything correctly. If we go back to Dropbox, we see that all of our files have uploaded successfully and inside this iForm folder we have a list of images and we are now ready to use these files uh, in iForm Builder. If we roll up to the client customization you can see I've already added these um, customization URLs in anticipation of uploading these files. Um, so the the naming convention as long as you've linked to a Dropbox account will be Dropbox colon slash slash and then if you've placed your files into a a folder, you'll have to first indicate that folder and then the file that you want to use. Alright, enjoy and look for more videos coming out soon.